if I check this wire here, the red wire, we have 19 volt. Nice. The 19 volt will go directly to this switch. We have here 19 volt. Good. Then it will pass to this side, 19 volt. Then to this, the second switch, 19 volt. Then to this side, 19 volt. Good. Then it will travel to all circuits in the motherboard, including 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. Let's check. Okay, we get 19 volt in the input in these three ceramic capacitors. Means we will get here 5 volt. Good. We get 5 volt. This 5 volt will be directed to this circuit. It's exactly in this ceramic capacitor. We have 5 volt. So we will get here 1.5 volt for the RAM. Good. Once we have 1.5 volt here, okay, guys, means if we move to the RAM, okay, let's do like this. Once we have 1.5 volt here, we will find in all ceramic capacitor in RAM here 1.5 volt. As you can see, let's check this one also 1.5 volt, and then we will find here do half 0 0.75 uh, 73 75 0 0.73 good let's go to another circuit but let's first summarize what we have seen right now so guys we have input okay the input jack okay or the adapter generate b plus 19 volt this 19 volt applied to two mosfets of course where there is other component like current sense resistor diode etc but let's see we have the first mosfet we have the second mosfet q2 after the second mosfet applied to three ceramic capacitors C1, C2, C3. Okay. So here we have 19 volts, 19 volt. Also here we have 19 volt. After several capacitors, we find 5 volts always in the inductor. This 5 volt always is again okay. Apply to what? Apply to another ceramic capacitor. Okay, guys, let's make like this ground to another ceramic capacitor, C4. So this ceramic capacitor connected to an inductor. Here we have L1, L2. In this inductor, so in this inductor, we find 5 volts. In this inductor, we have 1.5 volt for DDR3 RAM. Okay, guys, then this, this 1.5 volt will be applied to what to a circuit a divider or divisor circuit here to then we will get what 0 0.75 volt for what guys for vtt so remember please remember this schematic input to have b plus apply to the first MOSFET, second MOSFET, three ceramic capacitor, inductor 5 volt, and then apply it to another ceramic capacitor, we get 1.5 volt, and then apply it to an IC divider, we get 0.75 volt for the RAM. Let's do it again for new guys, because I want you, my friend, to understand this schematic. Okay, guys, this is what happened inside any motherboard. This is just one circuit i will do this for all circuits let's apply this circuit in the motherboard very fast please before diving into the course we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video pcb way pcb way offers many services ranging from pcb production and assembly to 3d printing and a variety of materials
CNC machining, sheet metals fabrication, injection molding, and more. PCBWay makes it easy to get custom parts for your project. And if you don't like to work a lot with a soldering iron, they can even assemble your PCBs for you. That's the PCB way. Now back to the video. Okay, let's do it. Because I want you to master this technique. Let's put the adapter. Okay. The adapter is inserted. We have the multimeter. Let's choose guys 20 volt in the multimeter. Good. Nice. Okay, we have the two switches here. So remember my friend please be smart and remember okay we have here the input we have b plus 19 volt it will it will be applied to the first mosfet to the second mosfets and then to three ceramic capacitor in the five volt always circuit let's check again repetition is mother of everything that's why i repeat like this okay the black probe in the ground Let's check here the wire, the red wire, 19 volts in the multimeter. Okay, again, 19 volt. First step. So the first wire, 19 volt. The second wire, of course, second wire, sorry, 19 volt. The 19 volt will be applied to the first MOSFET. Okay. As you can see, in both sides, the second MOSFET in both sides then okay guys input first MOSFET second MOSFET three then three serum capacitors after that we will get five volt in the inductor so let's move on here what is the three capacitors here we have the three capacitors the first capacitor 19 volt the second 19 volt the third 19 volt okay so we have to get 5 volt this is good let's go back to the schematic two mosfets three thermal capacitor we get 19 volts inductor we get 5 volt so after that the 5 volt so 19 volts is what generate 5 volt and 5 volts will be the source of 1.5 volt. So we will find 1.5 volt in the ceramic capacitor next to this inductor. Basically, here we have other we have a resistor. Okay. So let's move on to this circuit. Okay, guys, let's check this capacitor. We have 5 volt from here okay now five volt pass to the side remember from here five volt pass to the side and then we get 1.5 volt here okay okay let's check again where is 1.5 volt what happened let me root check my friends we have 1.5 volts good we have 1.5 volt okay nice we get here 1.5 volt in this in this inductor for ddr3 this 1.5 volt will be applied to a, a circuit and then we will get 0 0.75 volt where is this circuit let's check it out okay here is the circuit my friend we have here 1.5 volt if we check any ceramic capacitor here do you see we have 1.74 we have 1.5 volt even in this capacitor we have 1.5 volt it will be applied to the circuit the circuit will generate 0 0.74 this 0 0.74 will go where will be applied my friend to the ram here vtt we have 0 0.74 here the 74 here 0 0.74 comes from this capacitor to the ram over here okay this should check 
Okay, let's check this one. 0 0.75. Nice. Okay, my friends. So this is the root. This is the root, guys. From here through this switches, then through the three volts or five volts channel, then will be applied to this IC. It will generate 1.5 volt and then will generate and then 1.5 volt will be divided by two, will generate 0.74 and will be applied to the RAM and the RAM will be working fine. And this is it guys. So guys, this is, we will do the same for 3.3 volt, the same for 1.8 volt, the same for the processor, the same for the chipset, the same for the BIOS, for all circuits. Okay, my friends. So I hope that you understand this technique. So thank you very much. Please don't forget to like, guys, subscribe, hit the bell icon for, for future, future or upcoming videos and lives. And of course, for anyone who wants to accelerate learning and watch other unique content, other unique videos, you can join me in my Patreon page where you can find more unique content, download schematics. Of course, I have my Facebook group, my website. So the links in the description, my friends. So thank you very much. So don't forget to hit the bell icon in order to be notified for future live broadcasts and future videos. Thank you. And see you in the next.